Hello everyone, I am Akshaya from TCS Research and I will present our work Video Action Relocalization Using Spatiotemporal Correlation. We'll start with the motivation. With the rapid advancement in imaging and computing technologies, there is unprecedented growth in the amount of data we generate every day. So as the database grows, the difficulty in efficient storage and retrieval increases. Therefore, proper organization is essential for on-demand retrieval of multimedia. Traditional search engines index visual data based on surrounding metadata. The similarity in this metadata is used to scrape relevant videos. But textual descriptors are often inadequate to describe videos and yields too many results, making the search inefficient. Our goal here is to perform video retrieval using video as query. This provides more flexibility and has the ability to query attributes that are difficult to represent using keywords. It also spans multiple domains and applications. For example, in telemedicine, retrieval of semantically similar medical videos from archives can aid doctors in making informed diagnosis. Existing approaches for content-based video relocalization can be put into two main types. Similarity-based approach, where the features of the query and reference are compared at different temporal scales. An attention-based approach, where query features are fused with frame-wise reference features to get attention-weighted features. A major drawback in both these are that multi-scale spatiotemporal variations in the video are not exploited completely. A frame-wise feature similarity is suitable for natural language queries, but not ideal for video queries, which are far more complex. So in order to capture holistic information from the input videos, we extract features at multiple temporal scales. We introduce novel patchwise video correlation layer for spatiotemporal matching. And further, our network can be adapted to different temporal scales, thereby extended to multiple video search applications. So we formulate our problem as a relocalization task wherein we try to relocalize a set of actions performed by one or more objects of interest in the query video. Given a reference video R and a query video Q and the query object coordinates, our system aims to identify one or more video segments in R that best describe the action performed in Q. Here we assume that the reference video is untrimmed and the query video is trimmed. So the three inputs query reference and the query objects are given to our architecture, which consists of four steps. Feature extraction from the query and reference videos, region proposal generation on the reference video and ROI pooling of the features. Query reference feature matching using spatiotemporal correlation. And finally, bounding box refinement and similarity classification. So starting with the feature extraction step, we here use a hierarchical architecture that was introduced in our earlier work. Here, the features are extracted in a pyramidal fashion at different time scales to capture and retain the layers of information contained in the video. We use this as our base feature extraction block and use a Siamese architecture to extract both query features and reference features. So next, this is our overall architecture. Here, followed by the feature extraction step, we have the region proposal network. The RPN is applied only to the reference features to generate proposals at every second. For the query, the object locations are already provided as input. Furthermore, the proposals are generated only for the reference keyframes at every second using ResNet 50. We then perform ROI polling to bring all the features to the same size. We next move on to the correlation step. We perform a patchwise feature correlation between every proposal query object pair. 
the correlation maps capture the similarity between the actions in the query and reference. Further, use it for refinement of the reference object bounding boxes and in the final classification to identify if the action in the reference matches the action in the query. In this work, we train with only one object of interest in the query, but it can be extended to multi-object matching scenarios as well. Looking at the data sets, we use two video action data sets for evaluation, the AVA data set and activity net. And both of these have been reorganized for this video relo relocalization task in previous works. AVA version 2.1 consists of 430 15 minute videos with bounding box annotations of persons and corresponding action labels for person pose, person object interactions, and person person interaction. These fine grained annotations combined with the dense action labeling makes it very challenging. We compare this approach with the WAP LSTM method, which has been evaluated on this ABA search dataset. And the mean average precision metric at 0.5 IO2 threshold is used for evaluation. The activity net is an activity recognition data set with videos from 200 activity classes. Multiple approaches have used the rearranged activity search data set for temporal relocalization. And we compare our method with all of these. The MAP values at multiple temporal IOU thresholds are computed for evaluation. The quantitative evaluation as well as the visual results on the ABA search dataset is shown here. We get an MAP of 42.15, a 13% increase over the current state of art. The two contributing factors include the use of frame level features for stable proposals, as well as extraction of multi-scale spatial temporal features to relocalize the complex set of actions. For accurate relocalization and understanding of the action from various temporal windows is also required, and this can be observed in the visualized actions. Some of the main challenges include large intra-class variations due to viewpoint, environment, or visual appearance. Another difficulty in closely related actions like walk and run include the understanding of space to differentiate between them. Next, we show the evaluation on the activity net search dataset. Our approach results in a jump of 18% in terms of average MAP scores. This can be attributed to the fact that we use a large temporal neighborhood around each frame to compute relevant short-term and long-term features. As opposed to other methods, we do not perform feature pooling. So this retains significant information and improves relocalization considerably. So to summarize, we present a spatiotemporal correlation approach to relocalize an action in a reference video using a video query. We perform feature extraction from the video pair using the Siamese network for feature extraction followed by feature matching and relocalization. The key contributions include multi-scale feature extraction with varying temporal windows and spatial temporal feature matching using a correlation layer. We evaluate this on two popular action relocalization databases ABA search and activity net search and get an excellent improvement of over 12% in MEP on both of them. The two key inferences based on our ablation study experiments include that the correlation layer plays an important role in temporal relocalization due to the patchwise matching. And secondly, the multi scale features are essential for challenging actions and can be very useful for fine grained action search. We demonstrate the adaptability of our network by employing it for different frame rates and video lengths. And finally, the modular design enables straightforward extension to various video search applications. Thank you. And please scan the QR code to access the paper.